Jack! Oh, Jack! Did you remember your snack? Yes, Mom. Thanks. See you when you get home, dear. Bye! Good morning! You must be our new friend! We're on our way to school. Would you like to come along? Yes! You would? Great! Please find a seat on the bus so we can pick up the rest of our friends. Hi, I'm Jack. This is my pal, Roquefort. Say hello, Roquefort. Hello, Roquefort. Anyway... Have a seat. What's your name? Well, hello. Okay, kids. We're on our way. The bus is stopping. Hey, that reminds me of a great bus stop song. And there's a really neat dance called the Bus Stop Bop. We can do while we're singing it. I'll teach it to you. Want to give it a try? I know you want to. I was asking them. So, ready to do the Bus Stop Bop? Ready! I'll turn on the music. Why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus Stop at the bus stop, stop There's Boo Boo Bunny and Bree the Mouse They're getting on the bus next I guess we know where Boo Boo Bunny gets her nickname She doesn't really have a lot of Boo Boos She just loves to wear bandages how, how, how does it go, no, no, when it should go or it should stop? Here comes Bebop. skiddly doo to Bebop, skiddly doo to Bebop. Walking would take too long. The bus makes it easier for me to get along. Ride in on the bus with my friends. We're off to school where the fun never ends. Why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus Stop at the bus stop, stop How, how, how does it know, no, no When it should go or it should stop When it should go or it should stop, stop I just love that song Now that everyone's here, we're off to school Why did the bus stop? Good question, Bebop. Why did the bus stop? Hmm, I bet we can figure out why the bus stopped if we pay attention and stop, look, and listen. Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing until you stop, look, and listen. Kids, whenever we sing, use both eyes to look around, do this. Okay. And whenever we sing, use both ears to hear a sound, do this. Sure, Hot All right. Are you ready to sing the Stop, Look, and Listen song? Ready. Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you'll miss until you stop, look, and listen. Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you'll miss until you stop, look, and listen. In the morning when I wake, don't make a silly mistake. Do you hear something a little yipper? Do you see something underneath your slipper? When you 
walking down the street Be careful where you put your feet Do you hear a noise, a watery sound? Do you see the puddle better walk around? Look and listen, stop Look and listen You don't know what you're missing Till you stop Look and listen You spoke fast to look around You spoke peace to hear a sound You don't know what you're missing Till you stop Look and listen When you're riding on your bike Which I know that you really like Do you hear a sound way down low? Do you see the ants marching to and fro? And now you're hungry and it's time for lunch Please pay attention to what you munch Do you hear your mom say it's very hot? Do you see the bubbles in the pot? Okay, boo-boo, I think it's cooled off now Use both eyes to look around Use both ears to hear a sound You don't know what you're missing to stop Look and listen Use both eyes to look around Use both ears to hear a sound You don't know what you're missing to stop Look and listen Stop Look and listen Stop Look and listen Now we know why it is so important to pay attention and stop Look and listen so hops a lot, why did the bus stop? Let's play Look and Listen to find clues to figure out why the bus stopped. The Look and Listen window will help us. And you can help too. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, neat! Cool. Each time you discover a clue, it will appear here, on the Look and Listen window. So, let's play! Do you see or hear any clues? I hear a bell ding-dinging. Very good, Bree! A bell! Now we have one clue. Do you see any other clues? I see a sign with an X on it that has flashing red lights. Excellent, Roquefort. A sign with an X on it that has flashing red lights. Now we have two clues. Whoa! Any more clues out there? I hear a rumbling sound that's making the bus shake. That's a clue we can feel, too. The bus rumbling. Now we have three clues. I think we should look over our clues to figure out why the bus stopped. First, we heard a... Bell. Second, we saw a... Sign with an X on it that has flashing red lights. Third, we heard a... Rumble and felt the bus shake. Hmm. Do you know why the bus stopped? We're so close to figuring this out. Will you help us find just one more clue? Sure, Hops. Do you hear anything? I hear a whistle. Splendid, Jack. A whistle. We have four clues. Now do you know why the bus stopped? The bus stopped to let the train go by. Twelve o'clock. The preschool train's right on time. Did you guess that the bus stopped to let a train go by? Uh-huh. You did? We did. Great looking and listening. Hey, there's Aggie Aster, the station master. 
at the Jump Start train station. Hi, Hi Aggie Aster. Hopsalot, can we visit the train station? Please? Yes, we can. We can visit the train station through the look and listen window. All right! Yeah! Cool! I spilled my juice and left it in the caboose. Hello, kids! I'm Aggie Aster, the station master. Here at the Jumpstart train station, everything has to run on time. That's why this cuckoo clock is so important. Hey, cuckoo, come on out and say hello to our friends. Yoo-hoo, cuckoo, come on out now. Hello, cuckoo. Didn't you hear me knocking? No, Aggie, sorry. I'm busy making myself a delicious Sunflower seed sandwich. It's lunchtime, you know. Twelve o'clock. <laughs> Indeed it is. I was just telling our visitors that your clock is so very important. Very important. <laughs> and do you know why it's so important? Because a clock tells time. <laughs> and telling time helps us keep track of all the things we have to do during the day. <laughs> like eat lunch. <laughs> or... Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. It's time to wake up and start another day. The clock says seven as you stretch your yawns away. Yawns away. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Then it's time for breakfast, some cereal and fruit. The clock says eight as you drink up your juice. Drink your juice. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Now it's time for school. Can you teach me, please? The clock says nine as you learn your ABCs. ABCs. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Ten. Eleven. Getting grumbly, it must be time to eat. The clock says twelve. Your lunch box is really neat, really neat. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. You paint a pretty rainbow. Your favorite color's blue. The clock says one. I made it just for you, just for you. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Reading time is special. Open up a book. The clock says two. It's Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Captain Hook. Cuckoo. Ahoy, matey. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Three. Four. You're getting really hungry, and something sure smells great. The clock says five, and there's dinner on your plate, on your plate. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Time to take a bath, rub a dub a dub. The clock says six, as you splash in the tub, in the tub. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Your eyes are oh so heavy, it's time to go to bed. The clock says seven as you rest your sleepy head, sleepy head. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Well, I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. 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 Wasn't that a fun time? <laughs> <laughs> it sure was. I learned why time is so important. And I learned about what we do at different times of the day. And I learned about cuckoos. Cuckoo, cuckoo, 
I must be cuckoo. We need to get moving. Why did the bus stop? That's a good question, Bree. Why did the bus stop? Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing till you stop. Look and listen. Let's look and listen for clues to figure out why the bus stopped. Do you see a clue? Look, everybody, I see a farm. Way to go, Roquefort, a farm. Now we have one clue. Do you see or hear any other clues? I see a pond. Terrific, Boo-Boo, a pond. Now we have two clues. I wonder if there are any more clues. Uh, 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 choo! Gazuntite. Thank you, Roquefort. Wowie, kazowie. I wonder what could have made me sneeze like that. Uh, uh, feathers make me sneeze. Uh, 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 choo! Gazuntite. Thank you. See what I mean? Hey, that feather is our next clue. Excellent, Bree. A feather. Now we have three clues. Let's see what they are. First, we saw a... Farm! Second, we saw a... Pond! Third, we saw a... Feather! Hmm... Can you guess why the bus stopped? I think we need one more clue. Do you hear something? I do, Hot Salat. I hear a quack quack. Great job, Boo Boo! A quack quack! We have four clues! Do you know the answer yet? Do you know why the bus stopped? The bus stopped because ducks were crossing the road. Oh, look at the mama duck and her ducklings. They're so cute. And there's Dee Dee Duck. Did you guess that the bus stopped to let the ducks cross the road? Yup! You did? You are so smart! <laughs> yeah, look everybody, there's Farmer McDonald at his farm! Hi, Hi Farmer McDonald. McDonald! Hops a lot, can we visit the farm? Please? Ahem! I do believe that a visit to Farmer McDonald's farm via the look and listen window could be worked into our schedule. Howdy, children. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. The name's Rip Rap. Fun with words is where it's at. Hey, Farmer Mac, where does a sheep get a haircut? I don't know, Rip. Where does a sheep get a haircut? At the barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a knee slapper. I've got another one for you. Let's have it. What did the duck put in his soup? I don't know, Rip. What did the duck put in his soup? Quackers. 
Get it? Huh? Quackers? Quack, quack. <laughs> What's all that racket? Rumor has it that Mrs. Donkey is teaching her young'un to talk. Why don't you all go on inside and check it out while I mosey on over and feed the pigs? Good afternoon, cow. Come on now, Daisy. Say hello to cow. You can do it. Say cow. Listen, the word cow begins with the letter C. The letter C makes this sound. Cuh, cuh, cuh. Ow! <laughs> Very good, Rip. But I was trying to teach Daisy to say cow. Er, uh, sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Donkey, why don't you try singing a song with the little darling? <laughs> that may help. <laughs> How about we sing, Old MacDonald Had a Farm? That's an excellent idea. <laughs> we'll sing, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. A-E-I-O-U. A-E-I-O-U? <laughs> Those letters are called vowels. They're my favorites. A E I O U. And sometimes Y, because Y can be a vowel too. Ready? Let's sing it. And a one, and a two, and a here we go. Sometimes why? Because why can be a vowel too. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here moo there moo everywhere moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. A E I O U. And on that farm he had a huh 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 pig. A E I O U. And sometimes why? With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm, A-E-I-O-U And on that farm he had a Duh, duh, duh Dog A-E-I-O-U And sometimes why? With a woof woof here and a woof woof there say that now we're certainly hooked on Farmix. <laughs> you mean Phonics, Hopslot. 
And we learn so much about farm animals and words and letter sounds. And A E I O U. And sometimes Y. We better get moving, or we're going to learn a lot about the word late. Wait a minute! Why did the bus stop? That's a good question, Jack. Why did the bus stop? Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you miss until you stop. Look and listen. Let's look and listen for clues to figure out why the bus stopped. Anybody hear a clue? Me! I hear a siren. Great job listening, Roquefort. A siren. Now we have one clue. Are there any other clues? Look! I see red lights coming towards us. Perfectly perfect, Jack. Red lights. Now we have two clues. Do you see or hear any more clues? I'm up here. Hey, catch a look at that. Stuck high in the tree. It's Casey Cat. You. You have good eyes, Bebop. Casey Cat stuck high in a tree. Now we have three clues. Let's go over our clues together, shall we? First, we heard a siren. Second, we saw red lights. Third, we saw Casey Cat stuck high in a tree. <gasps> hmm. Have you figured out why the bus stopped yet? Will you help us find one more clue? Yeah! Do you see a clue? Look, Firefighter CJ and Firefighter Edison are rescuing Casey Cat. You're a good clue finder, Roquefort. Firefighters. We have four clues. Now do you know why the bus stopped? Did you guess that the bus stopped to let a fire truck pass by? Yes, yes we did, Pops a lot. You did? You've been eating your carrots, haven't you? <laughs> Hello, firefighter CJ. Hello, firefighter Edison. They're in front of the fire truck. Pops a lot. Can we visit the fire truck, please? please? You betcha! We can visit the fire truck through our look and listen window. Another job well done by the Jumpstart Fire Department. Are you all right, my boy? -o? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for your help. Look, Edison, we have visitors. Greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. C.J. Frog, explorer, adventurer, and today, firefighter, at your service. And that bolt of lightning that just flashed by is my good pal Edison, the Firefly. Well, paint me green and call me Clover. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you just made a rhyme, CJ. The words buy and fly rhyme. Good call, Edison. I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. But your feet show it. Ho, ho, ho. They're long fellows. <laughs> Say, that reminds me of a game. 
It looks like Pepper wants to play too. Do you, boy? Pepper loves to play hide and go seek. You can play with Pepper and learn rhyming words too. See if you can guess where Pepper's hiding. Okay, let's play. Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Do you want to know? Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Where did that doggy go? I will say a rhyme like this or that. Where's Pepper hiding? Under the hat. Oh, look! That's a silly sight. Now, where's Pepper hiding? On top of the light. He's here somewhere right under your nose. Now, where's Pepper hiding? Behind the hose. Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Do you want to know? Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Where did that doggy go? I love to count one, two, three, four. Now, where's Pepper hiding? Over the door. Finding that puppy sure is a hoot. Where's Pepper hiding? Inside the boot. We found Pepper, we found Pepper. What a fun and silly song. We found Pepper, we found Pepper. Now it's time to say so long. So long! <laughs> Visiting the fire truck taught us a lot. I'm glad it's there if things get hot. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot about rhyming words. And I learned a lot about pepper. And that's nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> We'd better fire up our engines or we'll be late for school. Why did the bus stop? Good question. Do you know why the bus stopped? <laughs> <laughs> the bus stopped because we're at school. And look at that. Right on time. <laughs> Today we learned why it's important to pay attention, to stop, look, and listen. We looked and listened to find clues. The clues helped us figure out why the bus stopped. Why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus stop at the bus stop? Stop! How, how, how does it know, no, no, when it should go or it should stop? Hey, kids! The bus stop boppers and I would like to sing you a song about what we learned on the way to school. Why don't you sing along, too? Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing till you stop, look, and listen. Our first stop was the Jumpstart train station, where we met Aggie Astor and her friend Cuckoo to learn about telling time and the important things we do each day. Cuckoo, Cuckoo. Reading time is special. Open up a book. The clock says to it's Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Captain Hook! Ahoy, matey! Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing till you stop. Look and listen. Our next stop was Old McDonald's Farm, where we learned about letter sounds with Mrs. Donkey and Daisy. 
we learned the vowels too. Old MacDonald had a farm, A-E-I-O-U. And on that farm he had a ca 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 cow. A-E-I-O-U. Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing till you stop, look, and listen. At the next stop, we visited Firefighter CJ and Firefighter Edison. We learned about rhyming words to help them find their puppy Pepper. Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Do you want to know? Where is Pepper? Where is Pepper? Where did that doggy go? I will say a rhyme like this or that. Where's Pepper hiding? Under the hat. Now where's Pepper hiding? Use both eyes to look around. Use both ears to hear a sound. You don't know what you're missing till you stop, look, and listen. And of course, our last stop was at the Jumpstart Schoolhouse. Thanks for riding to school with us today. Yeah, thanks. And remember to pay attention and stop, look, and listen so you can figure out why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus stop at the bus stop? Stop! How, how, how does it know, no, no? When it should go or it should stop? When it should go or it should stop? Stop! <laughs> McKenna. And my name is Jen. And I'm Dylan. Together we're the Bus Stop Buffers. Did you figure out why the bus stop? Yes. You did? You must be really smart. Hey McKenna, it's time for us to do the bus stop bop. You know, it's the dance from the video. Of course, the bus stop bop. We'll teach you. Just watch us and do what we do. Ready? Ready! Why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus stop at the bus stop? Stop! How, how, how does it know, no, no? When it should go or it should stop? When it should go or it should stop? Stop! <laughs> Wow, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. Why, why, why did the bus, bus, bus stop at the bus stop? Stop! How, how, how does it know, no, no? When it should go or it should stop? When it should go or it should stop? Stop! <laughs> Hello, kids. My name is Frankie. I would like to tell you about the wonderful new learning products from Knowledge Adventure. Like our new video, Jumpstart Preschool. Who left the juice in the caboose? Jumpstart Preschool, Who Left the Juice in the Caboose, is an engaging video that introduces basic concepts while you try and figure out who left the juice in the caboose. Engineer Frankie, someone left their juice in the caboose. Someone didn't follow the rules. Yeah. Please keep our caboose clean. You'll learn about responsibility. Responsibility. Responsibility what? Is when you do things right. Oh, you mean when I spill my juice, I should clean it up fast because the sticky, icky goo could get all over my pants. And why it's important to clean up. Or ants can have a parade in my pink lemonade. Or you could slip and fall in the mess that I made. Responsibility. Be the best that you can be. Responsibility. It's about taking care of you and me. Aw, <laughs> so 
cute. <clears throat> now where were we? Oh yes, someone left their juice in the caboose. And Eleanor needs your help to figure out who it was. I guess it's up to us to figure out who left the juice in the caboose. Come on, you can help me. Let's play. The first thing we need to do is ask Engineer Frankie for the passenger list. It will show us who is riding on the train. Meet Casey Cat in the play kitchen. He's pretending to be a chef in a pizza restaurant. Speaking of pizza, you'll learn p p plenty about the letter P. P p p pirates love pizza. Pepperoni piled high. Find a word that starts with P. Come on, give it a try. And lots of words that begin with the letter P. Pretty purple penguins, polka dotted pants. Find a word that starts with P. Now everybody dance. Now back to Eleanor and Casey. Casey Cat, did you leave the juice in the caboose? I didn't leave my juice. I'm pretty sure of that. Well, if I didn't leave the juice in the caboose, and Casey Cat didn't leave the juice in the caboose, then who left the juice? Woo-woo! In the caboose! Pierre the bear is looking out the window. I'm watching that bird's nest. It has eggs in it. Ten eggs to be exact. You can count along and learn the numbers one to ten. One little, two little, three little baby birds. Four little, five little, six little baby birds. Seven little, eight little, nine little baby birds. Ten baby birds and their mom. Eleanor asked Pierre the bear if he left his juice in the caboose. Oh no, Eleanor! When I drank my juice, I didn't drink it there. You'll also meet Keisha Koala. Keisha Koala is an artist. She's learning the letters of the alphabet. A is for airplane. A is for an airplane flying through the sky. B is for a basketball. That basket's too high. C is for the caboose. Let's car on the track. Eleanor asked Keisha Koala if she left her juice in the caboose. Oh no, Eleanor! I wasn't in the caboose at all the whole day. Hmm. Cecil the mouse is the last name on the passenger list. I wonder where he could be. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Train rolls across the track. Caboose trailing in the back. Who left the juice? Whoa, whoa. In the caboose. Who left the juice? Whoa, whoa. In the caboose. Wait, there's more. Look for these two new exciting computer games based on the videos: Jumpstart Learning Games ABCs and Jumpstart Learning Games Phonics. These interactive programs feature multi-leveled activities, which reinforce basic skills. Responsibility. A sing-along. And a print section that lets you print out all your favorite Jumpstart characters, along with all their fun accessories. These exciting new products are part of the Jumpstart Learning System from Knowledge Adventure. The Jumpstart Learning System is the award-winning line of educational products that is organized by grade level, offering complete age-appropriate curriculum from toddlers all the way through sixth grade. Only from Knowledge Adventure, helping children everywhere discover, learn, and excel. Ha ha ha!